tell you about the one that right now has impressed me with its power and its simplicity. I, I got an email from a man who said that his two sons were Boy Scouts and they would try to raise money for the Boy Scout uh, chapter of the unit that they were in uh, by going to supermarkets. And as people were leaving the supermarket, they had a table with bags of popcorn that they wanted to sell to people. And he said, when I began asking, we began asking them as they came out of the supermarket, excuse me, would you like to buy some popcorn? It would support the Boy Scouts. We were getting terrible compliance rates, only around 15% because people were, had just been in the supermarket. If they wanted popcorn, they would have gotten it there. Right? They were finished shopping. They had already just spent all this money. They didn't, they didn't want to buy any more popcorn. Okay? So we talked, and he changed the question from, from, would you like to buy some popcorn? It would support the Boy Scouts, to, do you support the Boy Scouts? Then, would you like to buy some popcorn? And now he gets 75% of people agreeing to make a purchase. He said, even those who don't want the popcorn, they say, I don't want the popcorn, but I'll give you a contribution for the Boy Scouts because I, I support the Boy Scouts. So the key is, where did the question take them first? Did they take them to their desire for popcorn, or did they take them to the, their desire to support the Boy Scouts? That's the thing that has to be top in consciousness, to move people in ways that are consistent with what is top of consciousness. Right? Change your question to be sure that it puts people in a state of mind that is consistent with your message what you want them to do.